are definitely some bougie fruits. Hi guys, welcome to another sous chef vlogmas day eight. I hope you will enjoy today's video. We are doing a hot pot at home kind of meal. Got this super spicy chili. chili oil now. I'm gonna put only a little bit. Don't need that much oil. It's very fragrant. It's filling the room with its aroma. Let me take a sip of this broth. Oh wow. It is salty. Maybe I shouldn't have put the whole packet of that powder. I feel like it is very salty, but it is flavorful. So if you dip meat in it, I feel like you don't really need any seasonings to go with the meat, you know? Just the broth is giving it a lot of that salty flavor. But you can also taste the herbs of the broth, which I love that. I still would rather eat this at home than go out and pay $30. That broth is bomb.com. So now I'm gonna try making my dipping sauces. I've never done this before. I'm just using whatever I have in my pantry. So my first pick is a yuzu ponzu. Cause the broth is really salty. It's very salty. So I'm gonna counteract it with some yuzu ponzu and more of this beshi syrup, which I've been literally loving. It's like a magic potion. Just a little bit as well some sesame seeds. I have no idea what I just made. Simple. Not bad, not bad. Next, I actually really want to, but I'm scared to. Intimidated by peanut butter. So I'm just gonna try, see what I can concoct in sesame oil. Mmm, oh, I love the smell of sesame oil. Very rich already, right? Because we have the sesame oil, the peanut butter, and I'm gonna add some more yuzu ponzu. Mix, 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 mix. Mm, yeah, the yuzu ponzu is very overpowering. The peanut butter. Take a bit more peanut butter. Mmm, that did it. I just wanted to show you guys the inside of this fish ball because it's just so intriguing. Only by the way, that's you. You're touching me right now. I love the texture. I'm all about texture when I eat, right? That's what it looks like inside. It's fish eggs, salted fish eggs. Mm. The end. It was really fun to do this at home and hassle free. All I had to do was prep the veggies. I like the broth. I would just say it is salty, so I would add in less of that powder. I am so glad we did this at home today. So dinner is served. Guys, I have a surprise. Wait until you see what my dessert is going to be. I'm so excited to show you guys. I'm gonna get the Korean Shine Muscat grapes, which goes for, oh my God. Is there a cheaper one? Oh no, they're all $23.99. Okay, this one. Okay, you are coming home with me today, okay? All right, you take a sit here comfortably. Okay, okay? Okay, let's go. Okay, baby, let's go home. You are home. Okay, you're still cold. You're still alive. Good, good. Okay. I love grapes and I had to find out if the hype is real for these $24 Korean Shine Muscat grapes. First of all, Let's talk about how beautiful this packaging is. Like, it really catches your eyes. I was like, whoa. Like, that was like the first thing that, that they had by the entrance too, which is so interesting. It's the power of marketing and I fell for it. Like, glossy and beautiful color of green. Okay, so I just wanted to know why I'm paying $24 for these grapes. So I just, I just did a little bit, a little research. The extremely high price of these 
precious grapes is due to its incredibly limited availability. They have a long shelf life due to its advanced packaging. You can keep them in the fridge for up to two to three months. Muscat grapes are highly labor intensive. Only the exactly perfect medium sized grapes are selected. Too large and the fruit will be hollow in the middle and lose its flavor. Each berry has to weigh 20 grams in order to qualify as a muscat grape. They are reported to be five times sweeter than the average grape. These are definitely some bougie fruits. Okay, here I go. I feel like if I close my eyes, I'm really focusing on this taste. I'm gonna be real. It's actually really disappointing. <laughs> Guys, $24. Save it, enjoy your nice meal at Cheesecake Factory. No go, no go. It tastes like regular grapes. It's just, the only thing is it's beautiful and it's very crunchy. The, the skin layer is crunchy, but I heard it online too. It's supposed to taste like mango. I don't taste the mango. So this is a cotton candy grape size from Trader Joe's. And then this is the $24 Shine Muscat Korean grape. I have to weigh this though, I'm curious. What do you think it's gonna be? Oh my God, that's really close. This is 19 grams. It's supposed to be 20 grams. Five. Not worth the $24 in my opinion. I would rather stick to the cotton candy if you wanna treat yourself. This super fruit, for me, not worth it. If you guys have any other hype foods that you want me to try, let me know down in the comment section below or Instagram. So tomorrow is very exciting for me because I got invited for a tasting in a restaurant in K-Town. So I'm really excited. I hope it is good. I can't wait to take you guys along with me and I will see you tomorrow. Good night.